Hello and welcome back to Pleasant View. Today it's time to check in with Sophie Miguel and her wife Lauren. They got married yesterday and they live over here in Don Lothario's old condo. But that is going to change very soon. And with very soon, I mean right now. <laughs> so I'm going to move these girls out of this um, condo and um, yeah, have them move into a more, um, let's say, family friendly house. <laughs> they, um, yeah, since they both recently got married, I think that they want to think about starting up more of a family unit. So I'm going to pack up their stuff and uh, I'm actually not sure money wise because yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna get quite a bit from selling this lot but I'm not sure how much so uh, I'd rather take out a loan for a bit of money and then have them pay it back if they um, if they don't need it so Sophie already has loans I think let me check oh she she doesn't actually okay well, that's good and then Lauren how about you I'm pretty sure she doesn't right no, she doesn't either. Good. Okay, then. Uh, well, that makes things even easier. Then I can just have Lauren la loan. Let's make it 25. <laughs> um, I bet I, I'm going to be able to pay a lot of that back. But let's do that. Yeah. And then let's just have them... Um, let's see if I can... Um, Interact a bit with the cat so that so that uh, he isn't lying on the bed, and then I can have them make the bed so I get the pillows and blankets back. <laughs> and that, uh, let's see here. For some reason, she really doesn't want to go upstairs. Okay, here we go. Carpooler is arriving for Lauren, but of course she's not gonna catch it. And you um, keep distracting the cat. Hmm. Something seems to be up with the bed because she can't make the bed, but let's just have her relax a few times then. Let's have Sophie do the same. Yeah, now she can make the bed good. Great. So now I can pack their stuff. You know, most of these things are Sophie's. <laughs> Lots of sports stuff. Um, Lauren's style is quite different from this very dark, very um, masculine, I would say, uh, style that Sophie has. Lauren's is a lot more floral and <laughs> light colors. So I think that when they get to their new house, it's going to reflect that a little bit more. And it's going to suit the both of them better. Oh yeah, they need to turn off the computer as well. I forgot about that. So let's have Sophie go down and do... Or maybe Lauren. Sophie's occupied with the cat. <laughs> mm, that's weird. One of the controllers is gone and I can't seem to get a new one. <laughs> so I guess I'll just uh, sell the, this whole thing. And buy a new one. Can... Recolor the hand controls. Let's pack that one up instead then. Right, can't forget the basketball, basketball hoop. <laughs> and also the car, of course. Uh, yeah, but otherwise... Can bring these two, I guess. Oh yeah, and of course also this. Can bring the spotlights as well, why not? Okay, do we have anything else that I have forgotten? Don't think so. Yeah, it should be good to go, really. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna save this up and um, have them move out. Right, so we're back in hood view and let's uh, move them out of the condo. Nice. And the house that I wanted to move them into is one of the newer ones that I've built. And um, it's one of these two houses. 
And uh, I think I want them to have this one that's a bit more close to this part of town. So I'm going to move them in here. And here we have them at the new house. So um, I think the first thing I want to do is actually recolor the house itself. Because even though I think Lauren could like a pale blue house like this, I really don't think it suits Sophie. <laughs> so I'm going to see what options I have. Yeah, I think I might go with just with a darker blue. So I'm going to start by removing the color all over the house so that I don't waste more money than I need to. <laughs> and then let's color it with this instead. So it's a bit more purplish, a bit more cold and dark. I think that suits both of them better like that. Then, of course, it's uh, summer, so we have to change the season. And as always, when you uh, start up a, um, a new household, it's going to be Monday. So I have to change it also to Wednesday. And the season is going to be autumn. And it was um, three days left. Good. So. Um, I should also consider the house next door because it's identical to this. So I think I do want to manipulate the um, garden part of this a little bit. I'm going to change that one out. The rest can be the same, I think. But let's put in some other kind of bush there. Maybe actually I can move this so that this one is sitting there instead to make it a bit of a difference. And then I can put some other kind of bush here instead. Yeah, let's use that one there, I think. And I can change this one out as well to... Um, let's take one of the same and... Yeah, something like that, I think. Just to make it look a bit different from the house next door. And I think I'm going to change out this tree as well. Because I do need to put in some sort of um, basketball court for Sophie. And I'm not sure where I want it. I do have this out back, of course. don't know if it's too slim or not. It could be. Yeah, I think it. I think it is. I think it's one tile too few here, so um could do that and then just you no know, extend this so that it's um <laughs> for some reason the, the line isn't doesn't want to be there, is it because of a shadow or something? I don't know, <laughs> but it doesn't want to show everything. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the same wherever I put it. Oh, well, let's do it like that, I think. And um, good. And um, hmm, I could still have a tree there, but let's put in another kind of tree, I think. Yeah, we can have this one there instead. And then maybe a little bit less uh, of this dirt around it. Yeah, that works, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and furnish the house and put in all the furniture that they brought with them. By the way, before I forget, this is another one of those houses that I um, built around Christmas and that I put up for download. So I'll leave a link to it if, in case you want to have this one as well. And uh, yeah, this is a matter of uh, bringing out the furniture that they brought with them, of course, and uh, also buying new stuff to fill in the blanks. And th the interesting thing about furnishing this house in particular is that uh, Sophie's and Lauren's styles are so different from each other. They're almost polar opposites, and that made this really fun and interesting. 
Uh, the bedroom, for example, you can see the floral pattern on the walls. That's definitely Lauren's style. She loves those kinds of things. And then mixed with Sophie's really um, dark colored and uh, for lack of a better word, masculine style, <laughs> I would say. Um, that's very different from each other. And I think that the previous house that they had together was so, so much Sophie style that Lauren's personality almost disappeared inside of it. So um, besides uh, the need for um, more space for the both of them, um, that's another reason for moving this family to actually make it their house rather than Lauren living in, in Sophie's house. <laughs> so. Um, one thing that I wanted to put in for them is a big kitchen and uh, one of the reasons is that Lauren's hobby is cooking so I thought it was important to uh, give her a proper space to work in. But then also I like to have uh, enough space for them to invite over their families to come over for dinners and parties and such and um, well, both Sophie and uh, Lauren have pretty big families at this point. Both the, um, the Lillard family and the Miguel family have grown in size. Uh, so yeah, I, um, I wanted to have that and both of them have plenty of friends as well. So they're pretty sociable people. Something that I had a lot of in their previous house was uh, like uh, <laughs> more of um, young adult stuff such as alcohol bot bottles and uh, yeah posters and things that really suited that style more so I got rid of those. <laughs> uh, Sophie isn't uh, that young anymore, she is more um, grown up uh, now so I thought it was uh, more appropriate to, to not have those kinds of things in here. And uh, this, at first I made the style very dark uh, in the kitchen as well but I realized that uh, the person who would spend the most time in here is probably Lauren seeing as she loves, loves cooking so much, so uh, I decided to switch up the coloring of everything, but I also kept it pretty dark on the countertops at least, and you know that um, curtain as well, just to bring Sophie into it as well. Uh, <laughs> I don't want her to disappear uh, either, I want this to be a mix of both their personalities. And of course um, Sophie's car is gonna sit out front as well. And um, the living room area is pretty important as well for their social lives, uh, of course, but also because they li like to spend time together in front of the TV and play video games. <laughs> so I wanted to have a proper space for that as well. And uh, they're both cat lovers, so um, they have one cat right now, but of course I'm thinking about <laughs> more cats always. <laughs> so I uh, don't know how that will turn out in the future, but... Uh, I wanted to make sure that there's space for the cat to, to live as well, and uh, all, all the cat stuff. And uh, this is something that I have been um, learning to do and started to do in my uh, private hood, uh, and that is building a sort of shelving unit with um, uh, the kitchen basic stuff, <laughs> just to have uh, sort of... Um, somewhere for them to store their clothes and stuff when they come in through the front door. I think that that makes it look very realistic and uh, makes the houses look uh, lived in. And uh, yeah, I really, I've always liked to have like shoes and stuff next to the door, but this is, um, feels more um, hmm, true to life, I guess. And uh, I also really like to have a wardrobe next to the front door because uh, I often, um, like to manually change their clothes <laughs> when they are moving around the house. Uh, sometimes they get out of bed and they never get changed unless I have them take a shower. So then it's nice to have just a, um, a wardrobe next to the door or if I just want them to go outside or, or something um, so that they can quickly change. And um, yeah, the, the bathroom is pretty small, but with small um, bathroom furniture <laughs> like this, uh, a lot of them can be squeezed in. And um, of course, there's a second bathroom as well. 
And uh, for this house, I decided to actually make it into a bathroom, but of course it could also be made into a washing room with a um, washing machine and uh, a dryer. If that's something, I mean, uh, there's uh, those kind of laundry mods and stuff, so that's also something that could be used in there. And I uh, decided also that uh, beneath the uh, basketball court, there should be another type of um, um, cement or something, uh, just so to make it stand out a bit and, and not look so, um, I don't know, it just looked better this way, I guess. And then uh, I noticed that this corner was a bit empty, so I decided to put in some more just decorative stuff and the big nice stereo for them. Alright, so that's their house done, so this is what it turned out like. Both, uh, both of them have cars now, so this one is of course uh, Sophie's, although it doesn't say, but now it's hers. <laughs> and this one is Lauren's. There we go, and... I mean, yeah, the, both of them need to um, leave for work, really. So, I think I'm going to have Lauren pay back 5,000 before she leaves. Pay loan, 5,000. And Sophie... Yeah, the pet bowl is full, so that should should work fine. I'm still not sure about this <laughs> table situation, so I'm gonna have to see how that works. But um, yeah, I mean, um, Sophie should be able to just head out to work, really. So uh, yeah, she's going to go off to the uh, police station. So I'm going to have her drive over there and then we'll meet her up. So I'm at the Quaker household and um, as you might know, both Dorian and uh, Marsha recently got married as well. And um, their heads are also... And their minds are also on the topic of children, really. So, um, yeah, they are relaxing in bed in the morning and uh, they're about to um, see what they can do about that. So, of course, Dorian uh, has not fallen in love with Marsha yet. I'm still patiently waiting, <laughs> or rather impatiently waiting to see if and or when that happens. And um, yeah, my hopes are of course high that he will. <laughs> He's married her after all, so um, I really do hope that it will happen. Doesn't look like it did yet anyway. Nope, not yet. Um, but Marsha is working really, really early, so she actually has to jump out of bed and leave at once. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> So let's see, uh, yeah, this is Marsha's car, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, and Dorian can uh, go ahead and just do his morning stuff. He can go ahead and dress for work as well, he needs to leave very soon. But he does have time to have some breakfast. Let's see what leftovers they have. Yeah, quite a lot of leftovers, so let's just grab something. He does have this um, want that he wants to get fit. Um, he is fairly close, but as you can see, he has grown extremely lazy. <laughs> he has been very, very active as a younger man, but yeah. He isn't anymore. He also wants to reach a cooking level 7 and uh, be become best friends with Demi. So since Demi is uh, a colleague of his that he's been close friends with for a while, I think I'm going to lock that one in. And um, yeah, the cooking one is, of course, because the cuisine is his uh, hobby. So I think that's probably what he <laughs> is thinking more about these days. I think I better fill up the pet bowl before he leaves. 
be on the safe side. Great. And then I'm going to go ahead and send him to his community lot. And it is the Pleasant View Police Station. So Dorian is arriving at work. Perfect. And let's see here. So first of all, let's just check so that the Vista controller is working. Um, I have had issues with that in uh, other lots that uh, for some reason uh, it has been uh, reset. So yeah, I'm going to have to ban all ages, uh, ban all NPCs. That should be it. So there are some different sims that I need to summon in here. And um, yeah, one of them... Well, in part, it is the um, working police officers. In part, it's the police officer NPCs that I want my sims to get to know. And it's also to burglars, because um, so far, up until this point, uh, we've had two burglars break into houses in Pleasant View <laughs> and get arrested. They were all caught, surprisingly, even though I have taken away burglar alarms and stuff. In the Sims houses. Um, one of them was caught at the Goth Manor. Trying to break in there for some reason. That's very <laughs> very stupid of them I think. Um, and the other one was caught at the Copper house by Jihoon. <laughs> as he came home very late from his work as a bartender. He heard that there was someone downstairs and called the police. And the police caught the burglar. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to have two of them actually. Um... So I'm going to have to summon in a bunch of sims here. Well, here we have some of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's supposed to be one more police officer, but I couldn't find him. So I think I'm going to have to go into CMP and see if I can uh, find his portrait and see what his name is. Um, but I did end up finding um, four NPC police officers. Uh, so we have, uh, of course, Alicia Turner. The uh, black-eyed menace. <laughs> and then we have another black-eyed police officer called Luke Gothier. Um, and then we have um, Amar Miller and uh, Meredith Seinfeld. And um, I do think I want to give... Um, I mean, she looks fine, I think. But uh, Amar, I want to have a different hairstyle, at least. I'm just going to change his appearance quickly. Yeah, let's just give him some, uh, some other hair and some beard to make him look a bit different. Right, and I also wanted to give uh, <laughs> Luke a makeover. He looks uh, pretty ridiculous right now. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give him this <laughs> to hide his black eyes. Very inconspicuous. <laughs> Looks a lot better already. Uh, Alicia is such an icon. She can just stay like that, <laughs> I think. And uh, yeah, so uh, Brooke and uh, Carol need to be in one cell each. Just going to... Put them in there. And I'm gonna lock the doors for all sims with Dorian. And let's see here. Demi and uh, Ramin, they need to change into their proper work outfits. So Demi is a detective at level 6. So I'm going to click Tom's clothing tester, find law enforcement, there it is, and select level 6, and she got her work outfit. And then I'm going to do the same with Ramin, he has level 5, there we go. 
So, quite a lot of police officers here and uh, I do want them to meet each other some way. Hmm. Let's see here. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep the NPCs here for very long. I literally just want them to interact with um, their colleagues so that they can get to know each other. So I'm gonna just pick one of them and have them uh, just chat for a little while. And then I'm gonna switch it around. And Dorian um, is gonna have to chat with them as well, but there's one um, uneven. So I think I'm gonna just have him head up to his office for now. Or maybe he can uh, hang out in the kitchen. <laughs> Drink a cup of coffee, I think, if you would like. So, oh, can't I use them? That's odd. Is it because his energy is too high? I'm just going to test and see if that makes a difference. No, it doesn't. Huh, that's odd. Where's error? Oh, is it that I'm not able to click on the... Uh, Hmm. I know that I did some really strange stuff with OMSPs here. <laughs> so I think I might just... Hmm. Let's use that nifty um, controller that I showcased in my um, OMSP video. And let's just make all OMSPs uh, visible. Okie dokie. I think I might have had the shiftable everything mode maybe when I did this so that these are actually just hanging loosely like this. Oh. Uh, where did it go? <laughs> I think it disappeared. No? Oh, there it is. It went invisible again. Hmm. I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> I just think I'm gonna redo all this actually, uh, just so that I can. Yeah. Yeah, and these ones I don't even have to have on those kinds um, of OMSPs. So let's see here. Yeah, I think that should work better. <laughs> so yeah, let's use the controller again and make all of the OMSPs invisible. Okay. Hey, some of them appeared that I shouldn't be there. <laughs> These ones we have to remove. And then make them invisible again. Okay, good. So we can remove this. And now, let's see. Can I have him make coffee? Good. <laughs> now it works as it should. Perfect. Right, so while he's doing that, I can uh, check in on the police officers down here. I'm just going to switch them around a bit. So they have a chance to get to know one another. Ah, <laughs> and we have the reviewer here. So Alvin, you are banned from this lot. By now. <laughs> Right, and I need to ask him to actually drink the coffee, not just <laughs> ask him to make the coffee, of course. Right, so let's make another change. Right, so I think that all of them have met each other now, so I should be able to just um, yeah, send these guys off to work at their work st stations for now. So, um, hmm, I don't recall, did I? Yeah, I think I, hmm, no, <laughs> did I? <laughs> is this Ramin station? I know that this is Demis because that's slightly bigger, I remember that. Um, yeah, let's just make this his. Uh, right, and I need to know what I should have him do. He needs logic, so that's what he's gonna do. Work at home, logic, and then he actually needs to work on cleaning. 
So I'm going to have her go up here and uh, work at home. And cleaning. And uh, yeah, Dorian is uh, oh somewhere else drinking coffee, I think. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's up there drinking coffee. All right. But I'm going to send him downstairs then later to um, greet everyone. And Brittany needs to work on body. So I'm sending her down to the gym to work out. And Sophie needs to man this desk, I think. And yeah, out of all the skills she has, I think she needs to work more on logic. So let's do that. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to let the police officers in here roam free. So that uh, Dorian can greet them whenever he has um, time for that. <laughs> when his coffee break is done. He's just taking his time up here. Yeah, I think I might... Maybe I should put in some sort of um, sitting furniture <laughs> here instead. So that they actually sit on this floor and drink the coffee. Because the way that... I have this mod that makes them sit down in comfortable chairs and such to drink coffee instead of uh, at the dinner table. So maybe I should just get one more of these um, just to have four coffee breaks. But I still want this to be open because my idea is that, well, they can stand and look down at whoever is entering the police station like this. So I still want this balcony space to be open like that. So let's just put in one sofa. All right, so don't know where you are going. Oh, oh, you're going down to work out. I think probably most of them are because they got, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Go back here, please. And um, hmm. Yeah, Meredith is on the way back up again. So let's have him start by chatting with her. Oh, did you go back downstairs? All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, these police officers, they really like to work out, don't they? <laughs> Very diligent. Brittany got a um, body skill. That's good. Good, so he's met her and can, I can make her unselectable. Let's just go around the team. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I guess the police officers aren't banned technically. Uh, so I'm gonna just um, use this to clear off Felicia. Good, he's met her. He can go to Luke, greet him instead. I'm going to do the same thing for Meredith. Good. And then Amar is the last one. Uh, uh, Luke, yeah. <laughs> Luke. Oh, poor Brooke. She's feeling really worried in here, in her cell. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? How's Carol faring? Yeah, she just looks... A bit worried, but more bored, I think. <laughs> All right. Good. And then he's met him as well. So I'm going to make him unselectable. And clear off Amar. Good. So... Um, yeah, I am going to have Dorian hold a meeting up here for his um, top officers. And those are, of course, Demi and Ramin. They are going to discuss the... Um, the word isn't inmates, is it? Because that's in a prison, but it's... Um, let's call them the burglars then. <laughs> They're going to discuss the burglars and what uh, this means. Or pleasant to you. Um, so I'm gonna have her interrupt what she's doing and Ramin as well. They're gonna meet up in his office. Of course, uh, Brittany and um, Sophie, 
they are too low down on the um, career levels <laughs> on the scale to be sitting in on that meeting. So they are just uh, maintaining the the daily business here and um, keeping working on their skills. Right, so they've uh, sat down in Dorian's office. And of course, uh, Dorian is um, much of the um, impression that um, this really isn't much to worry about. It's just petty burglars. Um, they were driven by a sense of desperation. They are not living in good living conditions. They're poor and they needed the money, basically. Um, he, of course, uh, thinks that it uh, is... Uh, punishable that they have to um, remain here for the whole day technically it's a day but it's uh, meant to be representing a year so uh, I'm gonna say that they are um, being held in custody for a long while anyway many many months and um, yeah they aren't playable sims of course so I can't really take out a um, a fee that they have to pay or anything um, but um, I mean for sure they, they are going to have to interrogate them try to see um, if there is a bigger picture here if they are part of some sort of kind of organization or if they're just um, doing it on their own of course Dorian is of the opinion that they must be doing it on their own but um, both Demi and Ramin are um, good enough police officers that they, they definitely want to investigate a little bit anyway. So, um, yeah, I think that they can convince Dorian to put some time and um, resources on this uh, before they let them go in the end. So, um, there's a little bit of time before lunch um, that they can work with. And um, I think that Dorian can just go ahead and... Um, Hmm. Yeah, let's just have him work on something. He can he can work on the cooking. <laughs> I don't want him to do anything too um too busy, <laughs> really. Uh, he's not um a good worker really. He's very lazy nowadays. So let's just have him do that. And um I think that Demi can go down here. And um, let's bring Carol in for interrogation once she's sat down. I'm going to have uh, Ramin sit here and observe while they're doing it. And I think, yeah, Sophie was done with her um, work. So I am going to send her to the bathroom. And then she can be the first one to um, have lunch. I can also interrupt this with Brittany. I think that she actually, yeah, she gained all the body skills that she needs to get the promotion eventually. Of course, she has a job stopinator, but, you know, she can. So she can take a shower first of all. Great, so they have arrived. So I can uh, unlock this door. Carol can sit in this chair. Yeah, and they can have some um, interrogation time in here. <laughs> so, of course, uh, this is a, um, you call it a one-way mirror or a two-way mirror. Um, so, from inside the room, it's supposed to look like there's no one actually sitting, observing. Of course, we have Ramin sitting here. Taking it out, listening in. And uh, my impression really is that Carol is um, not very forthcoming. Uh, she is um, really playing her role well of um, just one, uh, someone who's uh, desperate, someone who is not really knowing anything. Um, I think that she's a, a good actor. She can play this off pretty well. And even if... Um, Demi is um, 
very skilled. I think that she's not really getting anything out of Carol. So I'm gonna bring her back into her cell. Um, she needs to use the bathroom, so I think I'm just gonna put in a um, toilet and a uh, sink just into this room. I can do the same thing for this room, I think, even if it's smaller. And then she can also use the bathroom. And uh, yeah, Demi also needs to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna send her there. Also Ramin. Uh, are you back on the treadmill? That was not what I wanted you to do. You can go upstairs and uh, use... Okay. <laughs> Apparently I can't leave them unsupervised because they are so obsessed with the treadmills. I should have known. Um... Come on, Sophie. Um, yeah, you are on level four, so let's change your work outfit back. Good. And you can go upstairs and have lunch. And Brittany can do the same when she has used the bathroom. I'm going to have to change her as well. She's also at level four. She's going to use the bathroom first. And Dorian, uh, yeah, he can keep working for a little bit longer. Good, so Ramin can also go upstairs and have lunch. Oh no, she's on the way downstairs. <laughs> uh, have lunch, TV dinner. Dorian, you can also come downstairs and have lunch. Great, so these guys are sitting down to eat, and Sophie's already done, so I'm just gonna make her sit and keep chatting to her colleagues for a bit. So that they can get to know one another better. I think that she actually did make friends with Brittany last time around, but that, that, that's been decreasing because of my use of the time control clock, of course, as always. Um, but I think I'm gonna bump them up a bit. On both sides now that I have both of them selectable um, just to um, reflect more of that they grew closer try to make it even it's not always easy yeah that's better what are you doing you <laughs> okay she's trying to flirt with Ramin okay 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 she stopped I see. Interesting. Okay. Um, not sure why they want to flirt with each other. Mm. I mean, I guess he's just um, having a crush on Elizabeth. And uh, she's also very attractive to him. She's actually the most attractive he knows. So um, I guess maybe that's why. <laughs> and she also thinks he's fairly attractive. But I mean, she's in love with uh, Oliver, so... Don't know. Uh, please stop trying to go to the treadmills. Uh, I'm gonna have her sit down again. Right. Okay then. Uh, looks like they are about done. So yeah, I think that Brittany can take over at the um, uh, front desk instead. And she can also work on logic, I think. I think I, I'm going to do the same thing I did at the, um, the science facility, the goth labs, that I put in more trash compactors. And uh, yeah, in this case, I removed the dishwasher as well because I think they can use the sink instead. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that um, for the next interrogation, I'm going to have Dorian be the one who sits in and listens instead of Ramin. Um, Ramin, you can sit here, work at home, 
what does he need to know again? Logic, it was okay. Work at home, logic, and um, yeah, Sophie. I mean, you can take a seat in here and work on logic as well, I think. And then he needs to go in here and sit down. Looks like uh, Brooke has settled down a bit now. She's uh, reading a book <laughs> on the bed. And yeah, Dorian, you can take a seat there. Good. And I'm, um, oh yeah, this needs to be locked. So lock for all sims. And this needs to be unlocked so that Brooke can come out and sit in the interrogation room. There we go. So um, as opposed to Carol, I'm pretty sure that Brooke is more of a um, sourly person with a bad attitude. <laughs> Someone who's um, not really um, getting along easily, more like sullen silences and, and such things. So uh, I bet that um, Demi has a, a lot harder time to get something valuable out of her um, or valuable i mean carol didn't really tell her anything of value either but i think their attitudes are a bit different right so um, meanwhile sophie and ramin are working side to side up in the offices
So Sophie has hung up on her dad. Uh, she now knows who Brooke is, although she hasn't, of course, told him why she was asking, like where she saw her. He only knows that she's somewhere in Pleasant View, but not that she's been become a burglar. So Sophie's, of course, instantly curious about um, her father's cousin's daughter. And um, she's going to want to know more about her, what her situation is, and uh, those kinds of things. But for now, the um, working hours are over. For, um, yeah, I think for um, almost all of them. But since, yeah, since uh, Dorian's work is over, I'm going to have all of them leave. And of course, this means that Brooke and Carol can leave as well. So I am um, yeah, going to make them unselectable. Where did Carol go? Did she escape? <laughs> I thought I locked her in. Oh, well, I guess at least she didn't escape. <laughs> she wanted to work on her body skill. Uh, but yeah, let's just make her unselectable. And yeah, I can just stop talking with her. Brittany can stop working on that. Ramin can stop working here as well. And then when they are away from their uh, stuff, I'm gonna dismiss the ones to, that don't disappear on their own. No. <laughs> Okay, good. So let's just um, clear off all non-residents. Perfect. So only Dorian remains and I can go ahead and um, send him home. So we're back at the house. Both Sophie and Lauren are coming back home from work. And uh, unfortunately, I think we will have a promotion here <laughs> because I forgot to put in job stopinators. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to bring Sophie's career level down one notch in that case. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to bump her down again. Um, so she's at level five now. Yeah, she's supposed to be at level four. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I'm using the sim blender for that. And she's back at level four. And now she actually has a job st stopinator. So that's going to prevent that from happening again. Um, yeah. And um, Lauren is also returned. And she's wearing this outfit. I have been struggling a bit mentally with how I want to work with job outfits in my neighborhood because I have this really, you know, Maxis style career outfits in some cases. I'm thinking about like the elementary school teachers in that red samey outfit and, um, and you know, LaShawn Cameron, who's uh, in the law career as a really, you know, <laughs> The turtleneck um, suit outfit with not really jeans, pants. I, I'm not sure if you rem remember what which one I mean. But in some cases, I wanted to disable the work outfits. And I found a mod to do that. But the problem is then that I couldn't use the work outfits for like the, um, yeah, the police officers or the doctors or um, at the science lab. Those would also be disabled and I wouldn't be able to access them using the uh, Tom's clothing tester either. But I actually ended up finding a solution to all my problems with this. And that is actually uh, another mod that looks very similar to the job stopinator. And uh, that is the uh, job outfit stopinator by EpiSims. So um, this is also something that you can place in their inventory. And then only the Sims who have this token in their inventory will not get the job outfit when they go to work. 
But then the ones that I want to have the job outfits, they can actually have them. So yeah, that's the way that I'm going to resolve that. So the next time that uh, Lauren leaves for work, she's just going to be wearing her casual outfit. Right. And with that out of the way, let's actually change her into everyday. And Sophie can go ahead and have a shower after work. And little Balin is um, curled up in a ball here, sleeping. He also needs some social, so they're going to have to um, interact with him later. Hmm. Looks like Lauren is having some trouble routing. Oh, now it works. Okay. Great. I and mean, if I click this, she doesn't have the option to change into her work outfit anymore. So that's all good. And um, yeah, I actually saw that some of her relationships had gone down a bit. And um, I think that she wants to get to know her family a bit better. She has uh, Chloe and also uh, Randy. So let's see if either of them are... Um, at home, so she can chat with them. Not Chloe. But Randy was available. Good. I'm just going to have her chat. Good. And yeah, Sophie can... Um, actually, I've been thinking a bit about her outfit. Let's just have you walk out here. And that is the fact that she is just wearing this t-shirt and that's been working really well for the, you know, the summer and everything. But now it's getting a bit colder and I would like her to have something warmer. So I'm going to go ahead and have her do some online shopping just to buy um, some other shirt to wear. I just realized that I have two stereos next to each other now. <laughs> can sell this one then. Yeah, I think I settled on this one. So uh, let's buy that and see what that looks like. So I'm going to have her walk in here and plan every day. Yeah, that works really well, I think. So I'm going to stick to that. Cool. So let's just have Sophie interact a bit with the cats. Oh, yeah, and the litter box needs to be cleaned as well. <laughs> but of course, uh, Balin was a, um, or Balin, was a elder when uh, they adopted him. So he's not going to live for very much longer, unfortunately. So they're going to have to cuddle him all they can while they still have him. I think that uh, these two are going to sit down together in the sofa and play some uh, video games. Oh, okay, yeah. He's using the dirty <laughs> litter box, so yeah, I think I'm just going to interrupt Sophie later to clean that up. But for now, these two are uh, gaming it out together. That this uh, is something that uh, has become a ritual for them, something that they enjoy sitting down and um, doing in the afternoons. And um, as I mentioned earlier in this episode, they have been considering their new life together, their little family unit and um, the way that they um, live. And uh, one of the reasons that they wanted to move to another house was because they specifically wanted to have an extra room because they've been, uh, of course, after they've gotten married now, they've been thinking about also um, getting a child into their family. And um, of course, being both women, <laughs> they, they don't uh, have the very simple um, option to just make a baby, <laughs> as most sims do. Um, so they are going to have to think of something else. And the options they have are really either adoption, 
that's a, a long and complicated and expensive process, of course, for anyone who wants to adopt a child. Um, and uh, I think that they have been considering that route very seriously. But I think that they are um, wanting to go for option B a lot more. And that would be to get uh, one of them to get inseminated. So they would have to, um, in that case, think about who should be the sperm donor. And um, I have recently gotten a mod that um, allows bo both for surrogacy and for um, sperm donation for the Sims. And uh, it's a, actually a really cool mod that I've been trying out in my privatehood. Um, I have one family that's um, two male Sims living together um, that got a surrogate. And that surrogate uh, actually is in a relationship with another woman. So her partner got a sperm donation from that other gay couple. So they are like a little <laughs> um, unique family unit, the two of those families. And they actually also lived uh, next door to each other. So uh, I've been experimenting with those mods a bit using those families. And they are actually really... Um, advanced and interesting and cool. Um, they make those kinds of things really easy to handle um, that you would have to yeah, work out in other ways <laughs> normally. So uh, if you're interested in that, I really do recommend them. Um, so that is, I think, what Sophie has been um, thinking about these uh, recent months since they got married and of course, with Lauren being a lot, lot older than her, uh, she's going to become an elder in six days only. Uh, Sophie still has uh, 25 days left, so there's quite an age difference between these two. And of course, uh, the time when Lauren could have gone pregnant is long past. So Sophie would uh, be the one to become pregnant in that case. And... Um, what with her very high ambitions for her job and everything, she's had to consider, like, is this a good time in her life to get pregnant? Uh, but then she also wants Lauren to still be pretty uh, young while they do have the small child. Um, things will get very much complicated if she's an elder <laughs> when that happens. So I think that there is a time um, clock ticking for her as well to get it done, basically. But then um, they do have the option, of course, um, technically they would have the option to just have um, someone who has donated sperm to, to um, be the donor. But I think that these two, they would like to, it to be someone they know, someone they can um, trust, and maybe someone who's actually also interested in um, being close to them and getting to know the baby down the line. So, yeah, well, these two, they're considering their options, basically, right now. Um, they haven't really set their mind on anyone and they haven't agreed with anyone who would like to do it. But I think that they have taken the decision now that this is what they are going to go ahead and do together. Um, they are going to get Sophie pregnant and they are going to have to find the uh, the candidate to help them with that. And... There are n <laughs> not all that many options, really, that they do have in town. But they, I think that they are looking around to see who they could pick, who could be interested. And um, they don't really want to go out and tell them and uh, have it out there before they have um, considered it themselves. So I think that uh, <laughs> tonight, what with them having also recently moved into this new house they would like to throw a housewarming party and um, just coincidentally invite some of the candidates to that party to see if um, yeah, they can settle their mind on anyone. So um, once... Yeah, I think that once uh, they're done with this and um, yeah, they can go ahead and throw a party really for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to start by just having Sophie clean up the litter box. 
And I'm going to go ahead and bump up their energy levels a bit. To make sure that they don't just go to bed as soon as the party starts. And of course, with her hobby being um, cooking, I think that Lauren would like to serve up something to eat uh, for the party. So she's going to head into her new kitchen and uh, work on something like that. Um, I think I'm going to bring out the... Um, I always forget what the name of it is. <laughs> the variable meal server. Just to set it to... Um, like, I don't know, the double amount than what is normal, so 12, uh, so that they can actually have a bunch of servings. Um, and then she can serve up some, what should we pick? I guess she can also grill out here something. She could, <laughs> she could grill ribs. Sure. That actually sounds pretty nice. <laughs> So I didn't put in the fire alarm out here. So let's just hope that it doesn't catch on fire. Wait, so Sophie, you can turn on the music and then throw the party. Right, so I, I got some of their uh, friends their own age here. And of course, they don't want to make it too obvious what they're doing. So <laughs> I'm gonna just start with this uh, and have a mix. Um, but I, uh, I'm also going to summon in a few more people once they have all arrived, because some of the ones that I wanted to come, Sophie doesn't know, <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. Okay, so Lauren is out on her way with the uh, ribs. Yeah, I think the guests have arrived because the game started to lag. Yeah, so here we have the guests. So we have um, Chloe and uh, Dirk should be here somewhere as well. Is he on the other side? I think so. <laughs> so we have one crew coming there and the one here. Um, right, and I don't want them to wear any work outfits. So I'm going to just go ahead and take out the uh, sim blender and appearance. Um, Everyone clothing casual. Much better. Yes, we have Dirk here as well. We have uh, Johnson and Ophelia was on the other side. We have Ricky and Phoenix was on the other side. Uh, Randy and uh, Tosha. We have Brittany and uh, also her roommate, uh, Oliver Bertino. And I also wanted uh, their third roommate, Bo, to arrive as well. So I'm going to have to summon him in. And then, um, yeah, they invited Adriana. And um, I also wanted her uh, boyfriend, Christopher, to come. And then um, I also thought that Bo would bring his uh, younger brother, Mike. And then Gabriel and also Zachary <laughs> um, to this party. So I'm going to go ahead and summon in those guys as well. We're going to have a full house. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure that those were the people that I wanted to invite. So um, I think I'm going to um, go ahead and make them all selectable. We're past six in the evening, so they're not going to age. That will just allow me to relax and be sure that they don't randomly start leaving before I want them to. Yeah, I think that was everyone. So let's just uh, unpause time and um, see how we fare. So Sophie wanted to read a book, but I don't want her to. <laughs> um, it's better if you just uh, hang out with your group of friends here so um why don't you go ahead and start by uh chatting with dirk looks like the ribs are done so lauren is going to go ahead and serve that up johnson doesn't have to stand there and read the newspaper you can distract him a bit Oh, <laughs> okay. I I suspect that. 
Okay, I suspect that Lilith probably tried to flirt with Adriana and Christopher saw her. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, pretty sure that's what happened. Um, yeah, and uh, Adriana is of course a um, secondary romance sim, so she is um, doing a bunch of stuff here um, as well. Yeah. So let's just distract him. <laughs> he doesn't need to um, pay too much attention to her now then. He does not like her, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, is there anyone who's not chatting with anyone? You can uh, you can greet Chloe. Apparently Sophie got sick with a cold in the middle of everything. I see. Johnson. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that might happen. <laughs> when they are selectable, of course. Oh well. At least she didn't lose the job. <laughs> Alright, so you can go ahead and stop that, and uh, why don't you chat a bit with Oliver? Oh, she did not get along with Johnson. Um, I can go ahead also and um, call... Oh, household to meal. I was hoping I could call the guests to meal, but... Yeah, it looks like they are heading in to eat anyway. So let's have her meet some people that she hasn't really met them yet. So she can go ahead and meet Mike. I think it's so adorable when you throw big parties like this that the sims tend to gravitate towards the people that they are already friends with. Um, I saw for example like Bo and Brittany stand close to each other chatting and I think Mike and Gabriel were also hanging out earlier. Um, I think that Lilith and Ophelia were chatting, so I mean, it's it's so fun. And <laughs> as you can see, here we have Randy and Tosha sitting and chilling in the sofa together. Everyone is getting sick, you know, all these nice things. <laughs> yeah, and they are um, hanging out also in the kitchen, eating. And apparently Ricky is attracted to Dirk. No surprise there. Looks like uh, Lilith has made it into the kitchen as well. Gravitating towards Dirk. You haven't hung out in a while. Wow, there's a lot of Sims sick now. I guess, I mean, it's uh, enough that just one of them uh, was sick and then uh, all of them are hanging out. And of course, everyone's going to get infected. Uh, are you really? No, not not that, all that much. Um, so she has now met, let's see here, Mike and Bo. She needs to meet Gabriel. Oh, and now she wants to reach body level 9, that's good. Earn 50,000, wow. For some reason they uh, prefer hanging out here in the rain. <laughs> no, Lauren wants to go inside. Okay, so she has met him as well. She can go ahead and meet Christopher. Looks like Mike is hanging out with his uh, older brother. Okay, they are uh, congregating in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's just have Lauren. No, you do not need to shower. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, good. You can... Um, hmm, who do you need to get to know better? Chloe, of course. Let's just have her chat with her. Yeah, and she was very close friends with Oliver. But that was because they were neighbors. So that's what happens, of course. Uh, let's see here. Back to Sophie. Okay, so she's uh, gotten to know Christopher now as well. So let's have her go back inside. Uh, yeah, she can um, catch up a bit with uh, Lilith. It was a while since they uh, hung out. Oh no, Dirk got the flu. 
Oh, some of them have the flu now. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, well. They're out in the rain as well. Do you have to be out here playing? I mean... <laughs> and again, we have also couples doing things together. Phoenix and uh, Ricky is out here as well. Just go inside at least. And of course we have Ricky and um, Lilith at the same party. But so far they are uh, ignoring each other pretty well. And um, of course Ricky knows very well that Lilith doesn't want any rumors to get out around her daughter. So um, yeah, he's definitely playing the part. Boy is sitting down to read <laughs> at the party. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like him, doesn't it? <laughs> Bless you, Sophie. Um, so she's back to friends with Lilith. I think I'm gonna break up this little snuggle party here and uh, have her catch up with um, Randy as well. I think I'm gonna take care of everyone's bladders. Um, you can go inside here. Because everyone's just going to the bathroom right now. Um, so I can take out the sim blender, pick motives, max, oh no, uh, bladder, and everyone full. So then I don't have to worry about that anymore. Do you see this? Could it be? I mean, the Sims only get this kind of pacifier in their speech bubbles when they have a baby on the way, right? Could Chloe be pregnant? Hmm, who is Dirk talking to? He's just watching the TV. Ah, now I'm very interested. Okay, Gabriel. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. So apparently Lilith is standing staring at Gabriel here outside the window. Do you guys know each other at all? You don't, I think. So why don't you at least... Okay, sure. You can chat. A bit. Yeah, now she knows him. Good. Yeah, and Sophie is uh, heading in to eat. She's uh, pretty much starving. Um... But I mean, so far the, uh, the very tight kitchen is working uh, like a charm, right? Yeah, so it was a roof racer, and um, the guests aren't gonna be able to leave until I make them unselectable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But uh, someone is going to be sticking around after the party is done. Um, Ricky has something that he wants to talk to Sophie about, so he's gonna just linger a bit at the house while the party is ending.
he agrees to actually do this, you're going to have to see. But if he does, um, then they're going to have to be best friends in order for it to work. So Sophie's going to have to work on their relationship if this is something that she wants uh, to pursue together with him. Looks like Lauren is napping. <laughs> this uh, party was exhausting for her, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I think she can hang out a bit with um, the cat. They're not really close, so um, let's just have them get closer. Throwing parties in the middle of autumn is uh, apparently a very bad idea. <laughs> They all got sick, but uh, hopefully they can, most of them can sleep the sickness off. And then otherwise they'll have to go to the hospital tomorrow. Yeah, so I think that uh, these girls are gonna end their day in bed, so they can go ahead and relax, both of them. Just gonna check the pet bowl. Uh, it can be filled, so I'm actually gonna have Sophie do that before she heads to bed. And they're going to go ahead and cuddle on their own. I don't even have to <laughs> do anything. Um, it's part of the romantic standards, auto-socials. So yeah, they're going to end their day cuddling in bed under their wedding photo. It's pretty dark, unfortunately, it became like that. Um, but yeah, this is from uh, last episode when they got married in the church. Ricky, of course, was the wedding photographer. So he took that picture of them. Yeah, they're just enjoying each other's company and uh, probably discussing what um, their thoughts are after tonight with their uh, visitors and everything. So um, I think that Sophie is going to tell Lauren about her conversation with, um, with Ricky and her thoughts on that. And um, I think that Lauren is very you know, logical. She's thinking that uh, they should probably have a plan B if it turns out that he doesn't uh, want to in the end. Um, they do have the time to consider after all. Uh, they don't have all the time in the world. So, um, yeah, I think that she's going to push Sophie to also consider all the other options as well. And I think that also Sophie confides in uh, Lauren about um, Brooke. That she learned about at work today and um, her thoughts on that and that, that she wants to um, seek her out and get to know her a bit and see what, what is going on in her life. What made her um, become a burglar <laughs> and what she can do to help her uh, if she can do anything. Um, and I think that, I mean, Lauren was a police officer before she um, joined Malcolm Landgrab at Landgrab Industries. So I think that she's all for that. Uh, she if there is a chance that she can help Brooke in any way, she, uh, I think that Lauren is very supportive. So yeah, um, I think they're just going to go ahead and um, woohoo and uh, end their day together in bed. And that was it for the um, Miguel family. So I'm... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see how this all connects together. Um, of course, my my thoughts um, have been on Ricky for a bit. Um, of course, with his um, lifetime wish being that he wants to have his own children and his complicated uh, love life and everything. Um, but then again, it could make his situation even more complicated than it already is. So, yeah, I'm going to have to see how things turn out for them and uh, what other options they have if they uh, don't go with Ricky. I mean, they could go with one of the younger guys as well. Um, yeah, or someone else. We're going to have to see. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. Take care. Bye.